Hey everyone, it's JJ for Filmora here to empower your inner video creator and we are back with another episode of You Ask, We Answer, our series where we answer the questions that you guys leave us in the comments section of our videos. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. I haven't done one of these videos in such a long time. I miss you guys, but we have a whole bunch of questions in the box. It's a blue box now. Yay! And we're gonna go ahead and answer them. All right, so at random, I will be picking them out. So let's get started. All right, so this question is from Likohon Hosen Kokon. Ooh, that's a really complicated name. I'm really sorry if I mispronounced it. Hello, JJ. How to boost audio or increase the video audio volume? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Um, all right, so let me go ahead and show you how this can be done in Filmora 9. With your audio in your timeline, you can extend the track so you can see the audio waveforms. The line across the track is the current volume, so you can move the line up or down to increase or decrease the audio of the entire track. You can also right-click the audio you want to edit and click Adjust Audio. This will bring up the audio options. You can also adjust the audio volume with the volume slider. And there you go, boosting audio, increase or decrease audio volume. So if you want to get creative, Filmora 9 also has audio keyframing, which we go into another video which you can watch up here. Click it. Right here. Okay. So our next question comes from Ibrahim Sulaimane. Here we go. Hello. How can I make a fade in and fade out to my video? All right, so thank you for your question. And let me show you how you can do so in Filmora 9. First, you will need to have a video you want to fade into on your timeline. All you need to do is add a black sample color before and after the video. Then find the fade transition in the transition library and add that transition between the black sample images. You can adjust the transition on the timeline and the length of the black sample image to your liking depending on the fade you want to achieve. Ta-da! Fade in, fade out. Perfect. Let's get into our next question, shall we? Okay, so this question is from Jordan Singh. Make a video with Pokemon in it. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know this, but I love Pokemon. And yes, I will try my best to find a way to make a video with Pokemon in it. So stay tuned for that. If you have any ideas, let me know because that would be awesome. Awesome, awesome. So thank you, Jordan, for suggesting that. Yay. Okay, let's get into our next question. From Jason. Jason Amadeus, what do you guys do in your free time? I tend to kind of just relax. I'm kind of a homebody, so I stay home, watch Netflix, uh, read a book, and just, you know, just chill. That's what I do in my free time, you know. So let's ask the team what they do in their free time. What do I do in my spare time? In my spare time, I clean my desk. As you can see, I have the cleanest desk in the entire building. I wish other people, Kevin, were a little bit cleaner with their desks. I juggle. I get my hair cut. Let's get into our next question. Okay. So, this is from Super A5000. Super A5000. It's a cool name. How do you do text shake? All right, so there isn't a way to add um, shake to your text as an animation. However, we do have shake effects in Filmora, um, which you can apply to text. So, let me show you how it's done right now. First, pick a text title you want to use to add a shake and add this to your timeline. Next, go to the effects library and under the shake category, you'll find all the shake effects available to you. Once you find a text effect you like, add it to your timeline above the text effect that you've chosen and you've got shaking text. Keep in mind, this only works best if you have a blank background. So if you have a background behind your text, um, the shake effect will be applied to that background. So everything is gonna start shaking, okay? All right. So this next question is from Discorded Soul. 
Can keyframing be used in Filmora 9 and how would you use it? So, great question, thank you for asking. You can keyframe audio in Filmora 9, um, but if you're looking to create um, keyframes for animations, unfortunately you can't do that in Filmora 9, but you can do that in Filmora Pro, which Johnny goes over in a video that we have on our channel, which I will link up here. So if you wanna watch how to animate in Filmora Pro, watch it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you for all of your questions. If you guys have any more questions about Filmora 9 or Filmora Pro, make sure you check out our FAQ video, which I will link up here or in the description box below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and I'll see you guys next time.